Hello, my name is David Lee, and I am an educational technology specialist who trains teachers in using tools in education, such as Wix. In this video, I'll explain how easy it is to create your own free, professional-looking classroom website. Keep in mind, the more that you use the Wix editor, the more comfortable you will become. As you learn about the Wix editor, you will find out that you're able to translate your vision and your ideas into your free classroom site, which is beneficial for you and your classroom. So let's begin. All you need to get started with Wix is an email address, a password, and an internet connection. When you sign into Wix.com, you will be given the option to choose a category. Based on this, Wix will present you with templates designed by Wix's expert team of graphic artists. You can browse through the templates until you find one that is most relevant for your class website. Wix offers hundreds of templates for all types of websites. While we call them templates, they are really design suggestions intended to help give you ideas for your website. Wix websites are entirely flexible and any template can be used for any type of website. Once you start editing a template, you can change any element including the layout, pages, images, colors, and fonts. You can also choose to start with a blank template and design your website from scratch. It's all up to you. Each template has a view button that allows you to see how it looks on a full screen with preset colors and fonts. Once you have decided which template you want to work with, all you need to do is click on Edit This Site and get to work. In no time at all, you can personalize the template and make your new website live. To create a website on Wix, you don't need to download any software. This means that you can work on your website anytime and from any computer with an internet connection. As you can see, all the elements on the site can be moved. You can drag and drop, remove or add anything on the page, such as photos, texts, and buttons. Unlike many other website builders, Wix templates aren't limited in any way. This quick find box is the perfect place to look for any feature you want to use. Just type what you are looking for in the search box and select the item from the list of results. To the right of the quick find box are the undo and redo buttons, followed by the copy and paste buttons. Next is the grid lines button. You can see the dotted lines turn on and off when I click on this button. The top and the bottom grid lines show you what will be visible in the header and footer on each page of your website. The side grid lines are to help ensure that everyone will be able to see your website regardless of their screen size. People will view your website on a variety of different computers and devices with various screen resolutions. To ensure that everyone can see all of your website, you want to keep the design of your site within the margins of these side grid lines. Everything within these lines will be shown on all screen sizes. The next button is called Snap to Object. It is designed to help you align objects on your website. When this button is switched on and you are moving an object such as a photo or a text box, a purple line will appear to help you align the object with other objects on your website. The ruler button allows you to precisely position elements on the screen, helping you make sure that your website is aligned and symmetrical. The preview option is a great feature offered by Wix and comes in handy while you are designing your site. Click on it at any time to see how your website will look and behave once it's live. You can check your work using this button to preview how visitors will see your site. The Save button allows you to save your work that you have done so far. While this button's purpose may seem obvious, it actually serves three purposes. The first time you click on the Save button, you will be asked to name your site. The name you choose will become a part of your URL or website address. The second thing is pretty obvious. It saves your work. Don't forget to save regularly as you are designing your site. The third purpose of the Save button is to create a saved revision of your website. At any time while you are creating your website, you can revert back to an earlier version of your site. Each time you hit the Save button, a new version will be created and stored in your revision history you'll be able to access these revisions from the My Account page. 
The last two buttons are Publish and Upgrade. I'll explain more about them later on in the lesson. Now let's take a look at the menu on the left of the Wix editor. This is where you will find tools you will need to design your website. I will go over the items in this menu, and while I won't show you all of the options, I want to show you the most important tools to help you get the hang of the Wix editor. I'll let you discover the rest once you start working on the editor. Let's start with the Pages menu button. The Pages button allows you to arrange the order of the pages on your website and to create drop-down menus. When I click and drag on a page, I can change where it shows up on the website and the menu is automatically updated. If you go into preview mode, we can see the changes I just made. Back to the menu. This is where we can add new pages to the template. You can add a page by choosing from one of these pre-designed layouts or you can choose a blank page. It's up to you. Oftentimes, using one of the pre-designed layouts can save you time so you don't have to design a page from scratch. Notice the Page Transitions option. You can click here to choose how you want the transition to look when users navigate between pages on your site. Next to each page, you'll see a Settings icon. Clicking on this icon will open another window where you can choose to delete or duplicate a page as well as edit its SEO settings. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which helps your site show up higher on search engine results. Here you can customize the page's settings such as the name, the address, whether it is visible in the main menu, and more. You can also choose to set any page as the home page, create password, protected pages, or hide any page from the menu. The next button in the menu is a paintbrush, the design menu. Anything design related will be found here. You can use this menu to change the background, colors, and fonts on your website. For example, you can replace the background of the template with one of the Wix's preset backgrounds. Or you can upload a custom image from your computer here. I'll show you an example. First click on change image, then I'm going to choose from the tab Free from Wix, and then click on Patterns, and then I'll choose a pattern, and then click on Change Background. You can also change the color of the background. Next is the Colors menu. Imagine that you wanted to change the color scheme for the entire website. With Wix, you don't have to change each item on every page, one at a time. The Wix editor allows you to set the color scheme for the entire website at once. You can change the look of your site by choosing one of the preset color palettes created by the designers in Wix's studio. As you can see, when I select different color palettes, the colors change throughout the website. If you don't see anything you like, you can also create your own custom palette. If you prefer, you can also change the colors of specific items on your website without affecting the color scheme of the site. The fonts menu works much the same way as the colors menu. You can choose one of the preset font packages to change all the fonts on your website, or you can create your own custom font package. I'll go ahead and change the title's size and its font, and also the menu's font. Let's switch to preview mode so we can see how different our website looks from the template we started with. Again, while you can manually change each text box on the website, it will save you a lot of time to set the fonts for the entire website in advance. Okay, now we're at a new page that I just created. The next item on the side menu is the Add button. It looks like a plus sign. The Add menu has a lot of options. You can use it to add all sorts of functionality and new elements to your website. In the Add menu, we can add a text box, either a title or a paragraph. Here I'll choose a title. I can place the text box where I want. I can also double click on the text in order to open up the text editor. I will call the title School Clubs and add another text box, this time paragraph, and give it a little description for the page. Using the drop down menus, I can easily select the font style, and the size that I want for the text. You can also add images from the Add menu. After clicking on Image, you will see a window. 
Here you can upload an image by clicking on the orange button on the right. Or you can choose from one of the hundreds of images that Wix offers for free. I will go ahead and search for some images that is appropriate for my page. I'll go to the search box and type in children. And then choose an image that I like. And then click on add images. And then I'll place the image in its appropriate spot. Adding clip art is also simple. Again, click on image and then clip art. You can search for clip art with the search box again. I'll go ahead and type school and then select an image and then click on change clip art. The next item in the menu is galleries. Wix offers a wide variety of galleries that can present your images in various ways. I want to show you an example. I will add a 3D carousel to the page and then switch to preview mode so you can see how it looks. Changing the images in a gallery is easy. All you have to do is click on the gallery once and choose organize images. Then click on add images and then free from Wix. I'll go ahead and type in children again. Select my images. And then click on add images. You can play with the many gallery options as you explore the Wix editor. For example, you can set a gallery to autoplay and choose how long each image will appear on the screen. You can also decide what happens when a site visitor clicks on an image. The choices are yours. Now I want to go to the About page and show you how to add a video to your website. The next item in the Add menu is Media. You can use this button to add media to the website such as videos from YouTube or Vimeo. For musicians, you can also connect your site to iTunes Music using this menu. I'm going to move my video in the correct position and then resize it. The default video that appears is a Wix video. To change it, click on the video, click on settings, and then paste the URL of your video and click update. Now you can see the trailer of my YouTube channel. I'm also going to add a document to my website. To do this, I will add a button where visitors can click to download a syllabus. To do this, I click on Upload Documents and Find My Document and then click Open. Once it's finished uploading, I will select it and then click on Add Documents. And then I'll place it to its correct position. If you look at the web page I am working on, you can see that the page is as long as the content on it. As we add elements to the page or move around the ones we already have, the length of the page will change. You can make the page as long as you need. Okay, now this is a good opportunity to save what we have done so far. You can also use the Add menu to add boxes, shapes, lines, buttons, and menus to your website. Play around with these different features to customize your design even further. As you can see, the text is behind the box, so I'll click on the Send Backward button. If you make a mistake or add in an element you don't like, don't worry. You can always remove something by clicking on Undo. The next item in the Add menu is Buttons and Menu. Here, in addition to adding buttons and a menu to your site, you can add specialized buttons for PayPal, iTunes, and images. Here's an example of how an image button can be a link to another page. It'll link you to the News and Events page. I'll click Preview, and here you are. Now I'm going to create a new page called Blog. The next item in the menu allows you to add a blog to your page. Just like everything on Wix, the blog can be customized as you wish with a variety of options. Once I've added a blog to my site, I can manage posts and other settings from this menu or by clicking on the blog from within the Wix editor. Here I'm going to change the image of the post and then click on free from Wix and then search for children again. I'm going to go ahead and choose the robot and click on change image. Now for the title. I'll go ahead and give a description for the club. And there you go. Now I'm going to add a new page for my online store. 
you can add an online store to your website with just one click. Watch what happens when I add a product gallery to my page from the online store menu. When you click on manage store, you can see that Wix's e-commerce option allows you to easily manage all the elements of your online store in one place. From orders and inventory, to payment and currency, coupons, shipping and tax rates. You can also add photos and videos to highlight specific products. You can customize your shop from the online store menu. Now let's go to the home page. We will be adding a social bar. For the social option, this is where you can add social links, feeds, and icons to your website so that visitors can easily share your site on a variety of social networks. All you need to do is to change the default web addresses to your own. This is a great way to help bring in new visitors and expose your website to new audiences. Let's go ahead and check out the social bar with preview mode. As you can see, when I click on the Twitter icon, it goes straight to my Twitter account. Moving along in the Add menu, we have the Apps button. You can use this button to add a variety of useful features to your website, such as a contact form or newsletter sign-up. The Apps menu also includes an interactive Google Map, where you can show the location of your school, a PayPal button that you can connect to your personal PayPal account, a Flickr photo feed, and more. Now I'll show you how to add a Google Map. I'll first go to my contacts page. I'll go ahead and delete the default Google Map. Click on the Add button and then Apps and then Google Maps. Place your Google Map into the specific location and then resize it. Click on the map and click on Settings and then paste your address into the text box and then give a description. The Add button is also a place where you can insert an HTML code you wish into your site. This is an incredibly powerful feature with a lot of functionality. For example, you can add in registration and booking forms or a weather component. Next in the Add menu, we find the List Builder. This is a great feature which enables you to create custom formatted lists for your website. The list builder is incredibly versatile and can be used to create lists for students, lesson plans, upcoming events, or even additional content. It makes it easy to update sections of your website and move items around on a page without having to reformat each time. The list builder will make it easy for you to keep a lot of your lists neat, organized, and up-to-date. The next item I want to show you is the Wix App Market. These apps were created either by third-party developers or by the Wix team, but they have all been tested by Wix. Wix has carefully selected apps that we think can help meet the needs of users. You can use the Wix app market to integrate popular features into your website, such as social media feeds, form builders, menus, and online reservation services. All of the apps have free versions available but many of them offer premium features and enhanced functionality for an additional cost. I recommend taking some time to explore the app market so you can find the apps that are most relevant to you and your class site. This is also a chance for all of you developers out there to create an app for Wix's more than 50 million users. The app market is divided into five categories. Social, Forms, Galleries, E-commerce, and marketing tools. Let's add a few apps to our class site. First I'll go to the gallery page and then delete the default gallery, go to social and then Instagram and then add it to the site. When you click on the gallery choose settings and then connect your account. After you have done that go ahead and resize your gallery. Let's go to preview mode and check out a photo. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the contact page. In the most popular section, I will go ahead and select a Google Calendar and then place it under my map. 
click on the Google Calendar and click on App Settings. Here you can connect it to your Gmail account and then choose a specific calendar. Now you have a class calendar where parents, teachers, and students can see the schedule. You also have the option to insert a live chat using Intelligent Live Chat by Virtual Spirits. If you want to provide extra support for your students, this is a great way to do it. The last item we see in the side menu is the gear icon, the settings button. This is where you can see the URL or web address for your new website. You can also help promote your website on search engines using this SEO button. Under the settings button, you can also choose the thumbnail that will be displayed when your website is shared in social networks. The last two options under the settings menu are only available to Wix Premium users. The Statistics button allows you to connect your website to Google Analytics to get data about who is visiting your website and how often. Premium users can also choose a favicon, that little icon that shows up to the left of a URL in browser tabs. Before I continue, I want to go ahead and change the title of my website to Mr. Lee's Class Site. Now that I have finished editing my template, I will save my work and then click on Publish. That's it! My new website is live and visible from anywhere in the world. If you go to this address, you will be able to view the site live. Before I finish, I want to take a moment to explain the differences between a free Wix website and a premium one. When using the free version of Wix, your domain or URL will always be your username.wix.com slash the name you gave your website. If you upgrade to one of the Wix premium plans, you can connect your website to any domain name that you own. Upgrading to a premium plan also removes all of the Wix branding from your website. The branding is only displayed on free websites, and Wix will never place any additional ads on your site, other than the one in the footer and on the top right of the page. Another great feature of Wix is that even if you stop paying for a premium plan, your website will always be live. Wix will never delete your site or remove it from the internet. Before I finish, let's go back to the editor briefly so I can show you Wix's mobile editor. With the mobile editor, you can easily create a mobile version of your site for no additional charge. Wix will automatically direct site visitors to the mobile version of your site if they are using a smartphone. To access the mobile editor, click on the icon of a smartphone on the top left of the screen. Here you can move elements on your website and fine-tune your design for optimal functionality on a mobile device. The mobile editor works the same way as the regular editor. First of all, you can drag and drop website elements to place them wherever you want them to appear on mobile devices. Second, you can choose to hide specific elements from view on the mobile site. Think you might change your mind? No worries, the elements you hide will be added to this list, and you can always decide later on to make them visible. The Wix mobile editor also has a preview mode so that you can see how the website will look on a mobile device. Keep in mind that if you want to make any changes to the text on your website, you have to do this from the main desktop editor. Now that I have taught you how to create a Wix website, I want to show you one of the most important places on Wix called the My Sites page. To access it, go to Wix.com and click on My Sites from the main menu. This is where you will find a list of all the websites you have built and a dashboard to control many behind the scenes aspects of your websites. Different from the Wix editor, you cannot alter your website design or functionality from this page. The My Sites page is where you can set up a personalized email address, manage your billing and payments, access coupons and vouchers, or connect your website to a new domain. With Wix, there is no limit to the number of free or premium websites you can create, and there is no time constraint for how long they will be live. You can upgrade your website here by clicking on Upgrade. Choose from one of the premium plans and decide whether you want to pay annually or monthly. Below each plan, you can see the features it includes. You should feel ready to get started, but don't worry if you feel stuck while building your website. 
Throughout the process, you may have some questions or need some help. Wix has invested a lot of effort to support its users through various channels. Wix support offers complete instructions for using Wix products, and all the major features are explained in video tutorials. There, you can find quick answers to many questions. You can also post your own questions and receive answers from other Wix users or from a member of the Wix team. Finally, you can also get help and inspiration by following Wix on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google+. Be sure to follow the Wix blog to get lots of tips on how to create a great website. That's it. Now you can create your own professional HTML5 classroom website with great visibility in search engines and now have a customized mobile version. Thanks for watching and hope you try it soon.